You know what sounds really good today, Kashi? Yeah, that's right. Fried fish. Let's do it. Don't look, fam. Check these out while we wait. It's something that I like to do before I fillet fish. Not everybody does this. I like to kill it before I fillet it, just because I think that that's much more humane. If it does twitch while I'm filleting it, it's not alive still. This is a saw guy. If you're not familiar with the saw guy, what it is is a cross between a sauger and a walleye. The way you can usually tell is this white tip on the bottom of their tail. Um, and also, they don't have as black of spots on their dorsal fin right here. They're kind of like elongated. It's a beautiful fish. So I'll cut underneath this fin. And cut towards the head diagonally because there's a lot of meat up towards the head that you don't want to miss. Then I'll take it, follow this line all the way down, just putting it in about maybe half an inch to an inch. Doesn't need to be that deep. So just a shallow cut right along the spine. Then you'll feel it, the ribs will end at some point. At that point, I'll put my hand on the fish to make sure it's flat and then I'll cut out the other side. So before I go any further on this side, I'm actually gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side because if you take off the side before you do this, the other fillet, the fish's backbone likes to sway and unless you have a setup specifically made to accommodate that, it makes it a lot harder to fillet the second side. So I'm going to do the same thing. So this is what a good fillet looks like. What I did is just worked on the backbone here. Punched it through after the ribs. And then took it all the way down. Should be nice and clear. Not a lot of meat left on the fish. Also, people kind of forget about on saw guys. It's cutting out the cheap meat. See how squishy this is? It's really good. Really good to eat. So what you do, you just cut in and around the cheek. And people call them scallops. And you want to just start down on the end. I just kind of pinch it with my fingernail. And then work the blade underneath the, the meat. And then just kind of let it. You want the blade to do the work for you. You don't want to have to like dig into it. And just start coming up like this to the point where it's just skin left behind. Then what we have, a beautiful fillet. There's no bones in it. I think there's maybe a couple right here, some pin bones, but no skin, no ribs. It's good to go. Kashi cam. Kashi, I've never seen fish before. Smell the fish. I'm gonna put a plate to that so whether or not he tries to eat it. <laughs> sure. Guess what he does. <laughs> we both win! <laughs> like that fish sashimi, boy. he's a little sashimi boy. No, Kakashi Kobayashi. So I'm just removing the, uh, the pin bones right now. And here, I'll show you up close. So along the middle here, the lateral line of this fish, there's pin bones. <laughs> Each filet is just big and fat. They make awesome dinners and awesome fish sandwiches. So what we're going to do with this, guys, is I'm going to take it, I'm going to clean it off, and then I'm going to soak it in a brine, like a salt water, overnight. And then tomorrow, we're going to cook it. We'll see you then. Just going to set it in. Bada bing. Bada bing bong. Bada bing, bada bing, bong. <laughs> Bye. See you later. You know what sounds really good today, Kashi? Yeah, that's right. Fried fish. Let's do it. Movie magic. The saw guy. And the 
It's good to go, baby. I'm gonna show you how to cook it, and I'm gonna show you how to eat it. All right, everybody, here are the stars of the show. Obviously, we've got the saw guy here. It's just one fish, two fillets. Uh, so this recipe is gonna be sort of downsized half. Usually cook like two fish, three fish. So upscale it the way you need to. You got your saw guy. First ingredient, the egg. Uh, if we had more fillets, I would say use two eggs. We're also gonna use a pinch of salt and half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon garlic powder. Step number one. Garlic powder, some all-purpose flour. Normally what I would do is use breadcrumbs also. But today, we don't have breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use what's left of these organic sweet potato tortilla chips. Hopefully it tastes good. And I'm not even gonna put them in a separate bowl. Usually you would do the egg and then do the flour and then do the breadcrumbs last. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these directly in the flour. All right guys, so while I'm prepping the fish, I wanna get some oil on the stove to get it nice and hot to fry up the fish when it's ready. So what I'm gonna do is just put enough in the pan. I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use vegetable oil, frying oil, whatever you prefer. You're gonna to wanna to put it to medium high heat. So what you wanna do is wait until this pan is really hot. So we're gonna just let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna keep working on the fish. I just took these bad boys out of their brine bath. Look at how pretty those are. There's our fish cheeks. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dip this into the egg egg wash it, it's all nice and eggy. Put it into the flour, scoop a little flour on top of it. Make sure it's nice covered, set it to the side. All right guys, it's time to check and see if it's hot. I'm gonna drop a little bit of batter in there. It sizzles. Good. Got our fish. All we gotta do is just lay them in slowly. We're gonna go until they're golden brown, about three minutes on each side. It's gonna be tasty. I guess it's only fair that I try a little bit while it's hot. It's a perfect little taster. Mm. It's the kind of stuff that gives you chills. I can't help myself, I probably should stop eating, but I gotta try one of these cheeks. See how this cheek skin, you guys see that? Got all crispy. I wish you guys could try this. Well, that's that. Thanks for tuning in. I kind of enjoyed doing this informational session. If you did too, just let us know. Hopefully next time Zach will be in on the fun. So thanks again. If you haven't already, please subscribe, drop us a like, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a good one.